What is going on, people? I am here for another review. But before I get into that, uh, the people over at MVD, that's where I got all these uh, movies from, they sent me over two Blu-rays and two DVDs. Uh, the one I'm going to review, the others are going to be a little bit harder that if you would like to hear my thoughts or whatever on it. Uh, two of them are more documentary style, I guess you want to call it. And the other one I somewhat tried to watch and I just couldn't get through it. Uh, the first one is Go Johnny Go. I'm guessing this is more music style, maybe like commentaries and uh, music videos. And pretty much it's just got a whole bunch of different people. Chuck Berry, Rich, uh, Richie Valens, uh, the Flamingos, the Cadillacs. A uh, whole bunch of people. Eddie Cochran. Uh, I'm guessing this is... It says 17 great rock and roll hits. So I'm guessing it kind of gives you like a background story of each. And then maybe plays a song or something. But that's uh, more music style. Uh, this next one is a uh, Mussolini uh, miniseries. That according to this they played on NBC in 1985. So I'm guessing this is more of a you know backstory that most people didn't know about Mussolini and probably the uh, different stories and stuff that was going on. This is 333 minutes long, so possibly I can get uh, time to do that, but that's a long miniseries. So again, it, it was played on NBC in 1985, so 32 years ago this thing came out. This I tried watching and I just couldn't get into it, I guess you want to call it. I'm not the biggest... I didn't start really watching movies until I was, you know, old enough to watch it, and that was the early 90s. So movies before that, besides, you know, the big horror hits like, you know, uh, Friday the 13th and stuff like that, like, earlier than that, in the 70s, these two movies I got were uh, from 1977. Uh, so I really didn't see too many. I've seen other movies. It's got its own style, which I'll mention with this movie I'm actually going to review. This one is called Ruby. It's pretty much um, uh, a deaf mute uh, girl. She turns 16 years old. Her father was murdered, and her mother is now trying to ship her away. She's kind of getting the hint that the mother doesn't want her. They kind of don't get along or whatever. And she ends up summoning her... Uh, dead father's, I don't know if it's his spirit or whatever, but uh, what, the night that she does it, you know, it's just a, a crazy night for her and her mother. I really, to tell you the truth, couldn't get into this one. The movie I'm going to review, I found it weird, but I kind of was into it uh, a little bit more than this one. Again, some people might like this kind of stuff. Ruby, I got to really... Take a look back into these older, you know, 70s movies just to, you know, like I said, the ones I've seen all have the same feel to it. I'll get into it more with this. But the movie I'm actually reviewing is a movie called Satan's Cheerleaders. Um, this one was written and directed by Graydon Clark. It's also written by Alvin L. Fast. It stars John Ireland, Yvonne uh, DiCarlo, Jack Crushin. Among many others. So pretty much what the main plot of this movie is. Is a group of cheerleaders. Uh, are on their way to a football game. And they. I'm guessing it's a rival team or whatever. They run the girl's car off the road. And now the car is broken. They can't find a way. Well. Happens. The janitor of the school. Was. Happened to be there. Picks up these girls. They thought they was going to drive them to the game, but you find out that this janitor is part of a satanic cult who he has been kind of scouting these girls out the whole time uh, for a perfect, I don't want to say sacrifice, I guess it would be a sacrifice, uh, a version which now he's bringing to his satanic cult, and now the rest of the movie is the girls trying to get away from this cult which is pretty much the entire town and it's just them trying to survive and running away so let me just say this movie caught me off guard because like i said it, it, the 70s movies kind of have it their own feel to them this one kind of had its own own feel to it as i'm watching this movie which is supposed to be somewhat of a horror movie um 
the music threw me off because as I'm watching this, it kind of reminded me of Greece, especially in the beginning because it being cheerleaders, you get football players and all this kind of stuff. And just the music that went with it was just so not like, not like what I would think would be in a horror movie. And there's other parts where the music it the the music is building up for a like huge scene you're ready ready for something big to happen and then nothing really big happens it's like you know I, i'm excited i'm like oh something's gonna go down and nothing really goes down but that the music kind of threw me off for a loop not saying it was you know threw me out of the movie but it was just i was waiting for stuff and then i'm looking i'm like there's it just doesn't go together um again pretty much it's it's pretty much a satanic cult so that if you're into that kind of stuff if you're into the you know devil worship and stuff this will definitely go down your alley there's like witchcraft and all that stuff as well um one of the girls that gets you know is their main target i guess you want to call it kind of comes out of it i don't want to go way too deep into it i'm sure some of you have seen it but it just you know it like i said it, it has that early well, this is actually from 1977, but it just has that where the acting isn't the greatest, but it's, you know, passable. And the other thing with this, there was certain scenes that were cut very oddly. It seemed like, especially one scene on the beach, it kind of replayed itself twice. I'm like, did, did the movie skip? And then, no, it was a completely different, different uh it's the same scene, but shot twice, and the same thing. Ha you have to watch it to understand what the hell I'm talking about. But overall, it was definitely, you know, entertaining. Again, I'm not the biggest component or biggest fan of... Not that I don't like him, it's just that I'm not fully... I, I haven't seen enough to say I'm, I'm a fan or not kind of deal. But if you're into the late 70s kind of stuff, this is, you know... I'm sure this will be up your alley. Again, if you're more into the satanic cult, um, that'll be up your alley as well. But, uh, yeah, so thank you again, the people over at MVD, for sending these movies. Uh, again, this one I tried. I just couldn't get through. And then these two are more, you know, documentary styles. I really couldn't go too much without kind of... Uh, spoiling everything but this one i do want to watch i do I'm a, I'm a big fan of the uh you know 50s music so i'm actually interested in what this whole thing's about but check out uh satan's cheerleaders i'll find a link to where you can purchase it and i'll also link the trailer to um to the movie as well as well as mvd so Hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, check out <coughs> all my other social media. Well, check out the description mostly because you'll find out everything I'm talking about. Um, also, I'll leave all the links to all my other social medias. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. I got a Horror Mino. I got an Instagram where I'm actually doing a contest right now, but I also show off my movies. I got a Stardust app. I'm got a snapchat back up i got a whole bunch of stuff so just check the description for everything i talk about and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for all my other reviews and all my other unboxing and stuff like that so hopefully you enjoyed it and until next time i'll see you